Hey guys, it's the Warrior, and today what I'm going to be doing is con conquering a very controversial subject, um, and that will be which superhero movie is the most realistic. <laughs> so, yeah, this is definitely a very hotly debated topic. Many people will say kick ass. I disagree personally because that is just kind of a jokey movie and. I mean, it's just very jokey and makes a joke out of the superhero stuff. So I don't really enjoy it. <laughs> but I would say Spider Man Homecoming. Now, hear me out. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about when he is out and he's just swinging around. You're not gonna. It's very realistic the way he the way that crime is portrayed in that movie um like him just like swing around be like yeah and then talking to people is mostly what you're going to be doing so that's that's what i consider realistic is you don't go around and be like crime there crime there crime there no that, that's not how it works <laughs> um but there are different types of realism um there is the crime fighting realism and then there is the team realism and many people will argue avengers um i disagree with that simply because the movies are all about them fighting a big threat and all team movies are like that but avengers for me is more specific with that like it's I'm talking about the team dynamic, because obviously a superhero movie has to have the big bad, right? That's just film. <laughs> um, and for that, I would say, I, I would say Spider-Verse. I, I may be coming off as a Spider-Man fan, and I am, but like, Spider-Verse, Peter B. Parker and Miles Morales is me and Savior to a T. <laughs> I mean, I've been Peter B, all right? And Miles is just pretty much savior. <laughs> and it's just, like, that is how our team dynamic works. It can be very, very difficult to put into words what that team dynamic is. Because it's, you're a friend, you're a mentor, it's, it's difficult, you know? <laughs> and Savior has done just as much for me as I have for him, if not more so. Um, and that's the relationship I get from that movie. Um, but that's the team dynamic aspect. The crime aspect, I would say Homecoming, the team dynamic, Spider-Verse. But, let's talk Batman. <laughs> Many people would argue Batman's the most realistic superhero because he's a normal guy. And he has the Batmobile and he, all that. Yes, when you're talking comic books, I would say he's the most realistic superhero. But the movie that people consider the most realistic, The Dark Knight, um... Don't get me wrong, alright? The Dark Knight is one of the best films ever made. Hands down. I like it better than Spider-Man 3, which is criminally underrated in my opinion, but that's... See, the Spider-Man movies top it just because of nostalgia, and Homecoming is my favorite... Well, was my favorite Spider-Man movie of all time before Far From Home came out. That's a whole nother issue. I'm gonna get yelled at in the comments now. Damn it, I was trying to avoid that. Um... <laughs> The Dark Knight is realistic if you take the comic Batman and put him into a realistic universe. That is how they would react. But there is no comic Batman in this world. Um, and no real-life superhero will ever be a comic Batman. Um, because he is a really unrealistic superhero. Um, I would say he's the most realistic out of all the comic booky stuff. Maybe barring Nightwing, because he's just 
he just feels more real. I don't, it's hard to explain. Um, really, if you want to base what it's going to, what crime fighting is going to be like, look at the first act of Homecoming and look at, if you're trying to build a team, look at Spider-Verse. So that was my very long drawn out conclusion is do that. <laughs> But that's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, by the way, I'm going to be... This, if you're just interested in what this title of the video is about, you can feel free to end here. I don't care. But the rest is just about... It's, it's kind of funny. Um, I have been very adamantly against what I'm about to get. Like, I've said time and time again, you do not use this item. It is dumb. It is stupid. It is tacky. I'm getting a cape. <laughs> um, simply because now that I've taken the mask off, when I walk out, nobody talks to me. Just They just think I'm a weirdo. They don't think I'm doing anything productive. They just think I'm a weirdo in a weird suit, right? And I want to change that. I mean, I have a plan for what I'm about to do here. So I have this Velcro here um, that's going to make it so I can, you know make it so it tears away so in case something does happen i can be like nope screw this <laughs> because i'm not fighting with the kid hell no screw that um <laughs> and it's just i've been so against this man like i've talked i've given advice and one of my biggest pieces of advice i can give is don't wear a cape <laughs> but here i am Going over to frickin' Joanne Fabrics. Gonna get a red-ass cape. And... <laughs> it's gonna be... God. I hate that I'm doing this. I honestly do. Because... Capes are, like... Look, there are some great RLSH who wear a cape. Um, the one who comes to mind is Captain Caregiver. But the thing is, he doesn't fight. And... I respect the guy. A lot. I really do. But he doesn't fight. So he can have a complete stylized suit. And God, I wish I could say the same. Because I have so many great ideas for my suit that just don't add function. <laughs> a cape was one of them. And I'm going to have to use Velcro. And it's going to be a, a... If I see something, I'd be like... And throw it on the ground and then do the thing. But it's going to get people to talk to me and make me more recognizable in the community. Because right now, I'm just a weirdo that goes in a, out in a blue sweatshirt in 80 degree weather. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, no. I patrol when it is 75 or less. And that sounds like it's very picky. But damn, my suit is hot. I have my sleeves, my black sleeves, underneath a, blue, a bluish black very hot sweatshirt with sweatpants and armor underneath that kind of just adds another layer and black shoes but that's my feet don't get hot um but seriously i have to take a break in the middle of a patrol like i will go to my old base that i showed you my two-year anniversary and i will sit there for a minute and be like okay <laughs> like because it can get ridiculous like when I came home on my last patrol, uh, it was, I was burning up. I was like, get this off. <laughs> um, yeah, it got pretty hot. Anyway, a cape could actually maybe help with that. Just possibly because a cape could kind of take some of the heat away from my back. That's just an idea. I mean, it's very possible that won't work, and it's just going to add another layer. That's a possibility. But, as I was saying before my phone ran out of storage, um, <laughs> I get lonely out there, and I like people coming up being like, what the hell are you doing, bitch? And, you know, it's fun. Um, sadly, my phone ran out of storage just as I was about to end the video. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, all that pizzazz. And I'll see you all in the next one. Toodles!